bounce, underhand, chest, shoulder, and again shoulder. Skillful passing means finger control, movement with the pass, leading the receiver, and choice of the right pass at the right time. Skillful passing leads to proper catching. Look how the arm is extended to avoid the guard. When caught, the ball sits on the hand. To receive a high pass, turn palm upwards to cradle the ball. Once a team is able to control the ball, it is in a position to score. Of the various shots practiced here, the most elementary is the chest shot. Starting position is the same as for the chest pass, with the release above and in front of the head. A two-handed shot gives the power necessary when shooting from a distance. This is the path of the ball in making a rim shot. When shooting parallel with the end line, use rim shots from the shaded areas. The greatest number of goals is made from the black area where bank shots are used, which travel beyond the rim, rebounding from the backboard. A one-hand set shot is a good choice when closely guarded. Right foot is forward, weight rests on the right foot, while the left foot holds balance. Extend legs for power. She spreads her hand behind the ball, giving support with the left hand. She pushes upward, extending the arm and flips with her wrist. The ball is directed by the ends of the fingers. Sometimes strategic plays center around the layup shot. The ball is carried by the right hand toward the basket. Notice how the wrist flips the ball against the backboard. Watch the left leg for the takeoff jump. Following the dribble, she steps onto the left foot for the jump. This is a front layup. The ball is lifted instead of pushed. It is held in the palm, then the arm straightens and the ball rolls off the... When closely guarded, the forward hooks the shot over her head. With her back toward the basket, she steps left, turning her shoulder to the goal, and releases the ball overhead. Remember the wrist action. Despite close guarding, note how easily the forward takes her shot. Skillful shooting depends upon finger control, arm extension, wrist flip, and choice of the right shot for the angle and distance. Well skilled in the fundamentals of movement, passing, and shooting, the class is now working on the dribble. Combined with passing, dribbling makes for exciting basketball as it provides further opportunity to advance the ball. The fingers feel the ball as it is pushed to the floor. Watch the wrist bend. When moving, the height of the dribble should be below the waist to prevent interceptions. This forward fakes with the ball to fool her opponent. Good faking can throw a guard off balance. One foot remains stationary. A sudden shift and the guard is out of the play. Watch the double fake. Shift right, left, and right again. While practicing, I saw charging take place. I showed how this player should move away from the guard instead of toward her. When Marcia does a rear pivot, she stretches to put distance between the guard and herself. Then I showed her how the left foot turns out and moves to the rear. Now my left foot is away from the guard and remains in place while the right foot turns out into the rear. With feet parallel, I may turn in either direction. Although my class has not yet studied the finer points of offense and defense play, it is exciting to watch them enjoy themselves. 
Already they play better basketball because they successfully use the techniques and skills which they have been practicing so enthusiastically.